Hey everyone, HK here, and here's part 98 of Pokemon Rejuvenation. In the last episode, uh, we were going around the Avia region again, looking for secrets, but especially looking for dive spots that lead to more secrets, such as an underwater continuation of the Ecclesia Pyramid, fighting uh, the stupid sentries and stuff like that. We're also meeting another member of the Elite Eight, um, Volta's mom. Uh, I forgot her name. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Um, we also discovered another thing at Valor Mountain where we fought Kyogre. Um, the aquamarine ruins which lead us uh, to be able to catch horses. So yeah, there's that. Um, I haven't went back to Terajuma. Um, so maybe I should, but I don't know. I haven't really seen anything, so uh. In this episode, we found another dive spot here in the Honek Woods. Um, this is like close to the entrance, like that's near Dark Light Woods, so yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, let's surface here. Oh. Where did it go? Kingdom of Gumidra. <gasps> oh my god, it's the Pacific Lock town of Gumis. <laughs> oh my god. Well, to be honest, I kind of low key uh, spoiled myself a bit when going through um, like the. Uh, the sprites and stuff like that in the folder, so. Give me your welcome. Oh, and they talk too! They're like, um, Mr. Saturn's. Kino Gumidra, no catching a loud boom. Oh my god. This is so adorable. Goomink. Okay, are you the one that I saw? And judging by the music, this is just like, what's it called? Post Town? In Gates to Affinity? I think that's what it's called, I don't know. But it's like a whole, a whole town of Pokemon. Just like a real Mystery Dungeon game. Human are here to meet Princess Goom? Princess Gumelda? They have a whole kingdom. Mushrooms tasty. Mushrooms very very tasty. Give me mushrooms. Goombina teach you good moves for mushrooms. Some gooms try to trade move for a heart scale, but Goombina no like heart scales. Heart scale stinky. Okay, so you can teach Sea Bomb and Dragon Poles depending on if you have a tiny or big mushroom. Okay. What the? Is it a a Gumi in a with a Fandora? <laughs> Gumin, Guminzi. I have no idea. Bad, very bad. Can't make deal with Grand Dream City. At this rate, me don't get enough money to pay rent for Gubita and Gumoro. Gum? Oh no. Oh, there's a Gudra. Goom, go on field trip to Dark Light Woods in three weeks. Are you proud of Goomza? Hmm? Gudami, never seen you before. You must be new here. Gudami knows the actual humans in village often. Only two of the humans ever visit Kingdom of Gumidra. Welcome to Kingdom of Gumidra, human. Two other humans? I wonder who those are. Um... Gumink's house. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Oh, locked. Okay. Oh my god, what happened to that uh thingy there? 
Kudomi human? Oh, Kudomi no usually have human here. But if human wants to sleep, please use the bottom of my bed. Oh yeah, Sugi. Sugogo. <laughs> Sugogo night, but a break time, nighty night. <laughs> oh my god. You sleep, I'll sleep too. And they're eating. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what's with you? Goom, Goom treats Sugini different because Sugini's special. Oh no, it's a shiny, it's a shiny Sligu. Oh no, <laughs> they're getting bullied. <laughs> Sugini destroy them all. Sugini take everyone to court for all of their valuables. Oh my God, it's a very spiteful Sligu, but you know, I understand. <laughs> Human in our village? Sig? Oh my god. <laughs> Why is it so perfect? Oh, are you a shop? Mushroom for moves. Oh, okay. Liquidation, drill run, stomp tantrum, and gunk shot. These are boring. Bye. No. Gumatora. Oh my gosh. Mother 3 reference. <laughs> oh my god. Me want yogurt, Sugu. Yo, I wouldn't be so I wouldn't be surprised if this whole thing was a Mother Three reference or a Mother reference in general, because you know they're very Mr. Saturn like. Ooh, berries. Let's take them. Two lump berries. Three star berries. Two astro berries. And what's this? To Enigma berries. Cute. Cool. Um, can we? Oh, okay, let's go straight here. Oh my god. Slig, Slig Knight. Human no entry. Human stinky. <laughs> what? Human no enter castle of Gumija without special permission. Okay. So what am I supposed to do? Oh. Oh wait, not all these mushrooms you could collect mushrooms from, huh? So what am I supposed to do? I thought there was like a whole side quest and all. Um, let's go back to Gumi's house since that seems like to be the the Gumi we met on the water. Hmm. Maybe there's nothing, not really anything special. Huh? I hope this is not like a bug or anything. Here to see Gumi Hero. Gumi, there's a hero. Okay, change of plans. Um, so I had to look this up. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so convoluted. I mean, in a little, but it's like. Apparently the forum said that this will be explained once I actually start the quest. But apparently, in order to start the Kingdom of Gumidra quest, well, there's a lot of things. You will have to do the NK related help request from Crystalline. You have to help and you have to help you like the Yui's ranch thing with the um, the Inky abducting the cows, which I actually haven't done yet. So I guess I'll do that later. You also have to complete all the Neo Gear inside quests. And you have to fight Ayo. Which is why I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to fight Ayo. <laughs> so I guess we'll do that. 
Oh, jeez. I already spoke to her. So, yeah. But, I don't know. Let's get the show on the road then. Don't interrupt me. I think this is, if I remember correctly, this is doubles. You remind me a lot of our champion. You both have that same determined stare. Hey, at least you're not like that grass hole I, I knew once. <laughs> if you're good, you're good. Don't be annoying about it. Huh? Oh, I guess I'm rambling to myself again. That's just how things go. You better not hold back. Because I won't. So yeah, let's hopefully make this quick. <laughs> um... I can walk in middle clean. I... Ew, I feel like I need to switch Riona out. Why did she have to start with that? Um... Shoot. Uh, Armani is gonna earthquake. Of course he would. Sorry, Gertrude. Oh, you're still there. Alright. And I gave Armani the earthquake, so... Wait, why did it miss the lightning rock? Wait, I, I think I missed something. Um hmm. Should I switch? Oh, no, actually let me heal. I feel like they might target Armani though. Does the Lycan Rock have like some kind of air balloon? Not well, some air balloon effect that I'm not aware of. Okay. Maybe I did miss? I don't know why. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, but I've, I've been moxie boosted three times, so you're going down. Hey, this is pretty easy! <laughs> uh, let's bring Riona back again. Because, well, I don't rem- Yeah, Venusaur. I don't remember her team at all, so I am trying my best here. Earthquake. Oh, Mega, Mega Venusaur. Cool. I mean, this doesn't seem like to be a problem because... Because this is the exact kind of skill that she uses in Reborn, but... She's not taking advantage of it at all. Or maybe I'm, I'm killing her so quickly that she can't. And besides, we're at level 85, so we're... We're hella prepared for this. Earthquake. Like, yeah, basically this is the fight. <laughs> Yo, if I knew this would be it would be this easy. I would have done this a long time ago. This was as what this wasn't as expected, but it was fun. Oh. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. I'm okay with losing now. I know I've improved. Hardy would be here to encourage me not to give up. I used to live off that reassurance, but I think I'm okay. So, um, thanks for all that. You can go now. Cool. Um, wait, Meridia. I almost forgot to tell you something. The people down at the Parks and Recreation Center actually replied to us. Adrian still finds the response very strange though. According to them, the response sounded like an automated message. Which technically, by Gear and City law, that's so not allowed. What I'm trying to say is that we're planning to go- we're planning on going there sometime soon. When? Dunno. You'll have to come back later and see how things go. Until then, thanks for everything. Um... Is this time to the game? Um, no, I guess I'll go check. And I don't know why I didn't use the teleporter thing, but...
Well, not Yui, per se. It's more Beth. Though, the reason why I skipped this is because I thought it was just another opportunity to catch the Inke, you know? Or Ben. Beth? Um, people are saying Beth. Maybe it's actually Ben. And they misspoke. Should I just defeat them all? will help this thing out. It looks like you is better. Dealing with energy. Yeah. Oh, it looks like you get melting. Oh, I didn't know that. Alright, I guess we can defeat... I guess defeat the Inkey? You, leave us to our plans. We will dominate the world. Oh my god. Sure. See? Do we have to catch them? That's enough. Ooh. Um. Is that the spaceship <laughs> from Earthbound? That's their spaceship. We won't let them get away this time. My troops. We've captured all my troops. You have no right to complain. You took our mill tank first. Give back my mill tank and maybe we'll consider handing over your precious troops. Silence, human. You are nothing but future slaves to us. What is going on? If you don't if you won't give me back my troops, then I'll take something in return. Huh? Wow. <laughs> you just abducted the dude. If you wish to see this human ever again. You will meet me in Honek, Honek Woods with a sizable but modest cash amount. Bring your social security number and credit card details too. And also your birth certificate. And maybe your parents birth certificate. I shall not stand for anything less. Okay, but my mom died and so it's like I don't have anything. <laughs> wow. This is so weird. All right, I guess you go to the Honic Woods. Maybe in the maybe to the Kingdom of Gumijo. Maybe that's where this all happened. Wait, you want maybe the maybe the Armac message might be might actually be the the Malamar and the Inkies. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm just gonna skip to where I find them. Oh. Here! Oh shoot! Don't do it, Meridia! Don't hand! Quiet, Earthling. This is a deal between Meridia and I. Meridia, have you brought me the things I've requested? I mean, I don't... Maybe? Maybe it's not satisfactory. Maybe it's not satisfactory. 
How are you supposed to be in a loving relationship if you aren't honest with your partner? Ew! No! Both sides must be honest. Both sides must have the best intentions for the other in mind. I will say and will confirm that I have nothing but good intentions with your credit card information. No, you don't. No one ever does. So please, Meridia, if you will, hand them over. Wait a minute. There's a zipper on the back of this Malamar? That is not a zipper. That is merely a skin tag. I cannot, cannot believe that you would be so insensitive. I may be an evil Malamar hell-bent on taking Meridia's cre personal credentials, but I have feelings too. You can't fool me. This is a full bodysuit. Malamar confirms that this merch is off- is hands off. Hands off! Janko? Oh my god. What is going on here? <laughs> Do you have nothing- This is probably, you know, obviously before you're supposed to deal with Flora. But don't you have anything better else to do? Shit. <laughs> you're not a Malmar at all. You're just a jerk. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh wait, wasn't it Dr. Jenko also that was helping us with the Enki quest? What's his deal? I just woke up. Oh no, where am I? Is this the work of the Valmar? Yo, don't be fooling anyone. The jig is up. You're in a lot of trouble, mister. I guess the charade is up, huh? Hehehehe. <laughs> Why did you pose as a Malamar and steal my milk tank? We earn a living off of raising those Pokemon. Well, you see, children, it was all a social experiment in the name of science. How does the human brain react to tragedies? I think scientists have already figured that out. <laughs> How do they work when their livelihood is threatened? It's quite interesting, actually. When Meridia initially helped me on Terra Juma, I was quite happy. I knew if there was anyone who could bring my plans to fruition, it would be them. And look at this marvelous display. The data from this test is invaluable. Those Inke I caught myself actually did think I was a Malamar from another planet. So you tricked them too. The data I've gathered from them will also be invaluable. This is a pinnacle moment for humanity. We're doing great. Then what's up? what was up with, the, with asking for personal information? Ah. I knew it. All that talk about science and humanity is a bunch of mill take manure. So bullshit. <laughs> this whole thing was just a plot to commit identity theft. And last time I checked, I already had my identity stolen by two weirdos that we have yet to see since the theater. The Magnolia Theater. Hee hee hee. Well, I gotta go now. Remember kids, change your password twice a year. <laughs> Check emails before opening them for possible phishing scams. Huh? Okay, bye kids. Wait, what? Also, you guys might want to move out of the way. Just saying. Oh, the Snorlax. I was wondering because this was the area where you find Snorlax. And I was like, what happened with the Snorlax? Okay. Oh yeah, this is Snorlax's favorite sleeping spot. I guess it got mad at that guy for occupying it. But what about my mill tank? I gotta get back to the ranch. I guess we should go back to the ranch too. I don't know why, but it looks like it looks like that guy returned all my milk tank. All of them. Every single one of them is back. That guy, Dr. Jenkel, left a note. It was a bit strange. But I don't care, as long as I get my milk tank back. I know it's kind of a weird journey, but I can't thank you enough. I don't have much, but please take these. Ooh, cherish balls. My mom gave me these before she died. I have a ton left, so it's okay if I share these with you. Thanks for everything. Oh. Three. Oh my gosh. Okay. If I knew it would all lead to this, I probably would have um, completed this sooner. Cool.
Oh, we activate something. Meridia, is that really you? Oh, wow, you really know how to travel, huh? Not many people know about this place, yeah? So are you one of the humans that know about this place? Oh, it's Benny, trusted friend of the Gumi Kingdom. Now hold on there just a darn minute. How many times I gotta tell y'all that my name ain't Benny? It's Ben. No knee at the end, you hear? Understood, Benny. Ah, <laughs> uh, they'll never understand. Whatever, I guess. Anyway, Meridia, would you like to visit the castle? I'm sure I'll ask they'll if I ask, they'll let you in as well. Friend of Benny, friend of the castle. Well, you heard him. Let's go. Cool. Before we head on to the throne room, we gotta make sure we're all prim and proper. Hmm. Yep. I think this will do. All right, let's go. Okay. It's me again, Your Honor. I brought a friend along here too, Meridia. King Gudro. Ah, uh, me happy to see you once again, Ben. Queen Gudra. Yes, Gudra, very happy to see a new friend too, Meridia. I brought a dozen bottles of our sweet Moomin milk, just like I promised. Ah, uh, yes, Ben. Please bring it to Gudro. Looks like a very good batch. Gujo very pleased. Of course, nothing but the best for the king and queen. Murder, you must be really confused right now, right? A long time ago, I was gathering honey and I was arrested by some of the Slig Knights. Turns out that the honey is specially made by the Gumi from this village. But me being a good salesman, I made a deal here with the king and queen. I can take as much honey as I want as long as I provide them with some of our precious Moomoo milk. Okay, but does your family know about this? <laughs> Precious indeed. Pokemon of Gumidra love Moomoo milk. A very satisfying deal indeed. Yes, Gujo is especially happy now during these trying times. Trying times? Is something wrong? Ah, uh, you see. Mother, father, Princess Gumelda requires your assistance. Oh, that's a princess. Oh my god. Princess Gumelda, what is it that you need? Gumelda curious about letter we received. Will king and queen do what Gumelda asked? Or oh, something. Have decided to leave the matter alone. Such idle threats should not and shall not strike fear into the crown. Is that so? Hmm. Gumelda sees humans in castle. Gumelda see right. Humans visit Kingdom of Gumicha for trade. Gumelda required their presence in Gumelda's quarters at once. Gumelda will not take no for an answer. King and Queen send humans now. Yo, who's running this kingdom? The King and Queen or her? Please forgive Princess Gumelda. Things around the castle are very tense. Things tense ever since mysterious letter sent to the royal family. Letter? Do you know from who? Name of sender not specified. If you would like to see the letter for yourself, I believe Princess Gumelda keep her keep it in her room. I guess we gotta go there anyway. Why not check it out? Guard, please escort friends to Princess Gumelda's quarters. Yes, your majesty. This way, please. But they're so slow. <laughs> oh my god. Um, This might take a while. Let's just help him out a bit. <laughs> Guess this is where Gumelda's room is. Better not keep her waiting, right? What is going on? What is going on? Hello, your majesty. Gumelda is pleased to see that friends have arrived so quickly. Thank you for coming to Gumelda's room. We have much to discuss. Something about a letter, right? What's got you guys so shaken? Gumelda has a letter on table. Please take a look. Alrighty, let's see here. We know about the secret hidden deep within the castle. Please hand it over or we'll have to do something very, very bad. Team AA. I was gonna say, I was like, it looks like there's an A on that letter. 
So, really? Team AA? I can't say I've heard of that group. So you know, so you know, no, not, you know, no, anything. Pitiful. Meridia explains everything about Team AA. I was about to say, I was like, I know them. So scary. Gumelda cannot allow Team AA to get secret. So wait, what's the secret of the castle, anywho? It's no called secrets for nothing. It's secret because it's secret. <laughs> secret of royal family and secret and royal family only. Gumelda, sorry. Oh, I see. I guess that makes sense. So what do you want us to do about this letter? King Gujo and Queen Gujo refuse to do anything about threats. No matter how many times Gumelda plead, no results. That is why Gumelda assigned the title of hero to one of the Gumi in Kingdom. Hero, you say? Yes, that what, Gum that what Gumelda say. Gumelda assigned title of hero to Gumi named Gumink. Oh, it's the... The dude with the blonde hair. The Gumi with the blonde hair that we ran into. Gumelda want Gumink to be castle guard, but Gumink too timid. Gumelda want you two to toughen up Gumink and turn him into true warrior. <laughs> turn him into a real warrior? I mean, I'm not really that strong. I just borrow my sister's Pokemon. Then what about other friends? Oh, Meridia? Yeah, they're really strong. Maybe they can do something about it. Oh my god. Wonderful. Gumelda, please. Get to it, please. Oh, right away? Yes, Gumelda want you two to leave now. Gumink live in village. Please visit him and train him. Um, okay. In that case, we'll go visit him. See you later, your majesty. Oh my god. Can we explore a bit? Why do... Why do Gumis need need whole beds? Like what? A lot. Locked. Aw. I wanted to explore. Ooh. Or is this the first floor? Castle Garden. And this is the throne room. Garden ruins? Without the permission of Gumelda. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's meet this Gumic dude and make him into a man. <laughs> oh my god. This is all so cute. So we gotta look for a Gumi called Gumic. Shouldn't be too hard. This village is pretty small. Okay, but my main question is where does Aya play into all this? Hello. Huh? You're saying you're looking for a Gumink? Sorry, but that not me. Maybe take a look next door? I hear Gumink lives there. Hey Meridia, I think Gumink's I think Gumink lives here. There's a sign right outside that said Gumink's house. <laughs> oh no, Gumink forgot he put sign outside. <laughs> Rawr, Gumink kicks himself later, but friend's right. I am Gumink. <laughs> You're here because Gumink was called to be Gumelda's personal guard. But Gumink no know why they pick him. Gumink very weak and afraid. Huh, I guess she was right. This guy this little guy is timid. Gumelda said that about Gumink. Gumink very ashamed. But it's okay. Gumelda wants you to become stronger, so she asked us for help. You think Gumink can be powerful? Hmm. So what we do then? Um, I don't know. I didn't really think this far ahead. Crack a pal. <laughs> what? Are are you doing it? Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> oh yes, Gumink just get an idea. Gumink wants to spar with one of you. Maybe can gather strength with fights. I'm okay with sparring with you. Hmm. Are you strong? 
Uh huh. Not really. These aren't. What about your friend? What name? Meridia? They're pretty strong, yeah. Gumink wants to fight Meridia then. Hmm, for someone who claims to be timid, you're, that's pretty brave. Gumink will be able to know more by fighting more tougher opponents. Please meet Gumink outside. Very excited. Somehow, I don't think this is gonna end go, gonna go well. Don't destroy him, okay? <laughs> um, so is this gonna be like a uh, battle against Ana, where I have to let him win? But that requires me to go all the way back <laughs> and like uh, switch out my Pokemon. Wait, what did he mean by outside? Outside the village or just outside? Oh. No. Um. It depends on what level he is. We fight now, yes? Go easy on him, Meridia. Why does he have this music? Eventual hero grooming. Oh my god. He's level 23. <laughs> let, me, let me just destroy him right now. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? He's dressed like Link. That's why his name is Gooming. <laughs> so this is the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> okay, because Gumelda, I was thinking Dex is like Gumi version of Zelda. So... Yowchies, Gumik was not prepared. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh no. Meridia, far too strong for Gooming. Gooming stand no chance. You didn't win, but you had some pretty nice moves. But good moves, but good moves mean no mean anything without strength to back them up. Ah, Gumik angry. Gumik burned down village. Only in Gumik's dreams, though. Gumik loved village too much to destroy. <laughs> oh my God, why is that so cute? <laughs> Well, you always have room to improve, little guy. Uh, what can Gumik do to get stronger? Gumik no have time to beat up random encounters. No have patience either. Grah. If you had a trainer, maybe things would be different. Gumik no need trainer. Gumik an individual. <laughs> but Gumik would probably no say no to being an apprentice. Meridia very strong, very cool. Gumik wants to be apprentice of Meridia. Uh, Meridia, please let Gumik be your apprentice. Uh, sure. Yay, Gumik very happy. Being happy is important. It's a good way to, to get a nice boost. If only, if only Gumik knew what happiness truly felt like. <laughs> huh? Gumik, are you okay? So, what Meridia do to become stronger? I bet it involved battling very strong opponents and being very cool. Meridia, very cool. <laughs> oh my god. Gumink understands. Meridia took the League challenge. That means Gumink will also take on League. Um, I don't know how possible that is, but if you want to do it, then... So this little, go this little Gumi is going to go around and challenge the gym leaders. Yeah, right. I'm right behind you, Gumink. I believe in you. Oh, that probably makes sense. If he's gonna challenge the league, the first gym leader is Venom, but Aya's taking her place, so. Oh, I get it, I get it. Heading out into the world is one of Gumink's dreams anyway. Where do trainers start off anyway? I believe that would be East Garen City, but that's sort of hard to get to from here. I mean, not really. You could just take the train. No worries. Gumink will find way. Does he have money? Goodbye, friends. Gumink will remember you in all therapy. <laughs> Don't you mean eternity? <laughs> well, this is awkward. Since Beth always goes to the mainland, I'm stuck at the ranch. I can't pursue Gumink, but you should be able to in my place. Make sure he doesn't die or anything. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> 
Oh my god! <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad. I wonder what would happen if I actually let him win. Will he still take on the league challenge? Well, probably because, you know. Zoomin finally made it to East Gear, and, East Gear and Gym. Swimming across sea very tiring, but Zoomin becomes stronger because of it. Yo, if you jump 60 levels, I would be jealous. I wish I wish we could all do that. Win-win for Zoomin. Meridia would get here very quickly too, but that's because Meridia is very cool. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why this is so funny to me. Gumi take gym challenge gym challenge now. Rudia should follow ahead. I mean I'll literally destroy everything in my path, so 